what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology so as promised I'm gonna upload another video today so last time I did tutorial on uh, patterns those are those are following my video those who are following actually this tutorial uh, can easily uh, understand what I'm talking about and if someone is new please go to my channel uh, search for the neo 4 j tutorial or the playlist there are more than 17 videos so uh, you will uh, mm, uh, get the uh, you will get each and everything starting from the installation to the uh, basic to advanced topic so this is going to be like tutorial 18 and in this topic i'll be going to talk about one of the most important keyword that is case case keyword and how to use that and what are the benefits so let me just create another file so this is going to be neo uh, 18 so let me just uh, name like this okay so uh, first thing first uh, uh, don't save i don't want to save so from neo 4j import uh, graph database and after that uh, driver equals to graph database dot driver and you are going to be this so let me just copy this thing and after that auth will be like this okay and the next thing rainbow at the rate one two three four okay so it is done now the session session equals to driver dot session so everything is okay now i'm not sure which tutorial is running actually okay this is still running the code start py i'm not sure what is happening why the old tutorial is running old code is still running <laughs> i'm not sure something strange with the clips sometime it happens uh, there is no explanation for this again <coughs> something is still running I think let me exit each and everything and then start this thing again from the beginning then it will be okay let me run this thing from the beginning So let me just switch to here. So, <coughs> so I have three nodes. Each node is having one name. So I will try to update something with age, and after that we will manipulate this thing. Okay. So now, uh, like uh, for John. Mm, not sure name only name rocky name everything so if you go to the table version or text name or kind of here so name ronnie name rocky name john so we'll put one more properties called age okay so let's do this thing first let's run this thing so it's working fine but again it is running the other tutorial see the course.py is still running strange <coughs> i'm not sure what is happening okay i'm not sure what is happening what is happening I'm not sure 
let me delete this thing because <laughs> I don't want to waste much time now check what is happening okay something very strange with my clips ID not sure what is that Okay. Okay. Let's give a try. Mm -hmm. Something very strange. Let me just copy this thing, delete this thing, <coughs> let's run this thing now, it's working fine now, okay, so we'll create one query so like this and okay so going to be match what is the label uh, let me just open this thing it's um, friend friend okay Ronnie Rocky and John okay friend set in dot h equals to 20 let's run this thing now it's terminated means it is successfully executed so let's run this thing now go and check for Rony see one thing is added age is equals to 20 so we'll do it we'll do the same thing for John and Rocky again so just change it John and we'll make it 25 executed so if I run this thing again, now chain, I'm not sure what is happening, name John, set n dot h, why this is not updating. okay John H25 came now last thing is Rocky let's make it 28 terminated is 28 okay fine now we'll create some sort of like case okay so
we'll try to return n dot name okay case n dot age when n dot age greater than 20 then eligible eligible for booking I'm not sure what I'm doing just creating some sort of thing when n dot h greater than 25 then not eligible for free booking or let's do something else else then <coughs> I think <coughs> sorry guys as I told you I'm still uh, uh, like I'm not completely okay so else probably not eligible for anything end as result okay let's run this thing if I run X for or let's say result for i in result print i let's run this thing first see ronnie not eligible for anything why okay we'll explain this line later so what was the age of uh, rocky let's check this thing first rocky is 28 so it means rocky is greater than 25 okay so rocky is not eligible for anything not eligible for free booking not eligible for anything okay john john age is let me check john is 25 means greater than uh, 20 so john is actually not eligible for anything why this is not eligible for anything get at then okay get at then 20 uh, I'm not sure what is happening over here mm. else when n dot h is get at then 20 mm. I'm just thinking what is happening why why every time it is returning this thing let me check one thing 25 if, if it is greater than eligible for free booking fine mm, this is not mm. I'm just thinking 
uh, I'm just thinking what is happening what is happening guys eligible for free booking in dot age is greater than 25 not eligible for free booking uh, so 25 gets greater than 20 means uh, okay greater than 20 means John John should be eligible for free booking okay so not but why this is uh, uh, okay I'm not I'm not I'm not okay with this thing actually why this is not returning anything correctly and as result else three not eligible for anything else okay okay when case is fine okay uh, I'm not sure what is happening mm. let me just case let me just run this thing again now it is working fine so I actually did a mistake I put this thing here so that is why it was creating some problem so see uh, Ronnie not eligible for uh, anything okay John eligible for free booking but again uh, Rocky is eligible for why Rocky is eligible for free booking I'm not sure what is the age of Rocky first check this thing Rocky Rocky is 28 28 means okay 28 means actually get at than 20 so eligible for free booking so we have to do something uh, uh, get at than 20 and like and n dot h less than 20 <coughs> Uh, Rocky is actually 28 so it means uh, greater than um, mm, uh, greater than 20 but less than 25 it should be like this okay so <coughs> now it is fine not eligible for free booking Rocky cause Rocky's age is 28 he is adult he is probably doing some job so that is why not eligible for anything Ron is not eligible for anything because probably he is underage so he is not allowed to anything and again why John is not eligible for anything I am not sure ok so n dot age is greater than 25 ok greater than 20 but less than 25 so now we need to think something different so this is ideal case for rocky n dot h greater than 28 eligible for free booking so first thing first came n dot h came not in n dot h not eligible for free booking okay Hmm, I'm just thinking greater than 20 less than 25 so if someone is having 25 age he should must be uh, lies between this category but for John this is not coming why this is not coming for John I'm not sure John is 25 so which is less than 25 okay okay so I am thinking <coughs> 25 but less than greater than 20 but less than eligible for free booking so greater than 20 but less than 26 okay greater than 25 now I think this should be okay not eligible for anything Ronnie Rocky is not eligible for free booking and John is eligible for free booking so it is okay now so greater than 20 was less than 26 is uh, for the John thing John age is 20 um, John age is 25 Rocky is 28 so I just created this condition greater than 25 
okay definitely 28 is greater than 25 so not eligible for anything and which is not life between this thing not greater than 20 and not greater than 25 so what is that age so there is another age life which is not greater than 20 which is 20 so definitely Ron is not eligible for anything so that is why this thing so we can create something different uh, let's say eligible for booking like this also we can do yes we can do this this way as well see now Ronnie is eligible for free booking 25 means John John is eligible uh, John is not eligible for free booking booking and which is not equal to this two is not eligible for anything not eligible for anything Rocky which is not 20 not 25 that is 28 so it's quite strong thing uh, like very strong uh, keyword uh, we can do many sort of like um, permutation combination using this sort of things like uh, as I told you this Neo4j thing is very much popular in terms of like threat analytics or threat vector assessment or some sort of like risk assessment like most of the product companies are using uh, this sort of things for example uh, most of the banking application are using this thing for doing some sort of fraud detection many credit card companies are using this technology like Amex like uh, uh, Deutsche Bank or uh, some other companies like uh, from the product company side all the security or identity and access management uh, product companies like SailPoint is using this thing to develop their uh, uh, analytics kind of a thing for uh, granting or um, uh, rejecting any sort of like access to some sort of like random request so that is altogether different thing but again uh, if you know the uh, logic behind the cipher query you can do anything okay so main thing is here actually <laughs> and based on that we are actually uh, dealing with this sort of things okay guys so uh, uh, let me explain this thing again so initially we just uh, <coughs> create this thing uh, kind of like edge kind of a thing uh, added or update and after that we are just using this case keyword so uh, we can do something else like uh, if you don't put this thing it also work only it will return this thing but as I put something like n dot name n dot age so both will come uh, sorry uh, something okay sorry <laughs> n dot age is here actually so okay it came actually in, in this way so that is why I just put this thing and result I just create uh, this part as a result so that is why it is coming you can say result underscore of the query it can as well return the same thing see okay so that's all guys that's all for today Hope to see you in the next video till then try to do some sort of practice uh, do some exercise try to uh, innovate some sort of ideas so de definitely this will help you guys until and unless you are not uh, doing it by your own you will not get uh, uh, like any sort of proper knowledge see I am also uh, sometime I am just also fumbling like just because I am not doing it uh, like for the uh, last um, one or two months so that is why I am still uh, uh, like um, start forgetting things I need to do some sort of practice just because uh, for this tutorial I just came up uh, uh, actually I wake up early in the morning I started this video so it's uh, like in the afternoon so hope to uh, like continue the series again probably I'll be going to upload one more video today but not sure if my uh, help permits me to do more videos but definitely I'll upload one more video so guys uh, uh, last thing uh, last but not, <laughs> not least try to subscribe to our channel try to uh, spread our videos or share our videos among your friends we are trying to reach bigger audience larger audience so that we can get the idea or impression about our contents how we are doing what is actually missing what you can do in a more better or innovative way so that is actually more important for us because if you are doing videos 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 that is not going to help we need to know like it is actually creating some sort of like value or awareness within the community or not so 
please let us know please try to communicate with us this is free communication is not going to harm you and all definitely we are going to establish some sort of like a uh, uh, positive uh, like uh, idea or result from that so please subscribe to our channel hit the like button if you enjoy our video that's all for today so hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day